uh, in today's class we will try to solve some problem based on capacitors and also their combination series and parallel first take down this problem figure shows figure shows two identical capacitors C1 and T C2 C1 and C2 figure shows two identical capacitors C1 and C2 each of two microfarad capacitance two microfarad each of two microfarad capacitance connected to a battery of 5 volt initially switch S is closed initially switch yes is closed after some time yes is left open after some time yes is left open and dielectric slabs of dielectric constant k equal to 5 and dielectric slabs of dielectric constant k equal to 5 are inserted to fill completely are inserted to fill completely the space between the plates of two capacitors How will the charge? How will the question number A? How will the charge and potential difference? Between the plates of the capacitors. are between the plates of the capacitors B affected B affected after the slabs are inserted Figure shows two identical capacitors C1 and C2, each of two microfarad capacitance, connected to a battery of 5 volt. Initially, switch S is closed. After some time, S is left open and dielectric slabs of dielectric constant K equal to 5 are inserted to fill completely the space between the plates of the two capacitors. How will the charge and the potential difference between the plates of the capacitors be affected after the slabs are inserted? Uh, let me give you the figure 5 volt battery we have and then we have two capacitors identical this is C1 and we have a battery over switch over here through the switch we are connecting another capacitor C2 
5 volt battery and this is the switch yes C1 C2 5 volt battery C1 C2 and yes and the value of C1 and C2 are given to microfarad 2 microfarad C2 is also 2 microfarad both are identical 2 microfarad 2 microfarad now let me give you a note to tell you like what happens uh, when we insert a dielectric slab and also when we connect and disconnect the battery remember this note note when a dielectric medium of dielectric constant k is introduced when a dielectric medium of dielectric constant k is introduced introduced in an isolated or not connected with battery in an isolated capacitor in an isolated capacitor isolated means here the meaning is not connected with the battery when a dielectric medium of dielectric constant k is introduced in an isolated capacitor then total charge on capacitor remains same remains the same and when in a capacitor connected with battery the potential difference across the capacitor remains as that of the potential difference across the battery in a capacitor connected with battery in a capacitor connected with battery the potential difference across the capacitor across the capacitor the potential difference across the capacitor remains same as that of the potential difference across the battery as that of the battery potential So, in a capacitor connected with battery, the potential difference across the capacitor remains same as that of the battery potential. Now, first the, the switch is closed. So, when the switch is closed, so in the question it says, you know, uh, the initially the switch is closed. So, when switch is closed, we will find out what is the charge stored in each capacitor when switch is closed. So, first uh, you know uh, draw the circuit with switch closed. So, this is our 5 volt and then we have two capacitors connected. 
so i have i am closing the switch so it's closed uh, like uh, the two capacitors are connected in parallel across the battery so when this is the case now when the switch is closed two capacitors get fully charged charged with 5 volt battery two capacitors get fully charged so charge on capacitors are given by charge on capacitor c1 is q1 equal to c1 into v c1 into v so c1 is 2 microfarad 2 into 10 to the power minus 6 multiplied by 5 2 into 10 to the power minus 6 multiplied by 5 so this is 10 micro coulomb 10 micro coulomb 10 micro coulomb similarly the charge on capacitor c2 as q2 equal to c2 into v here value of uh, c2 is and we are same because they are identical capacitor so you don't have to uh, calculate twice you can write they are same so 2 into 10 to the power minus 6 so again the charge on each capacitor is 10 micro coulomb so this is equal to again 10 micro coulomb Now this is the first case. Now uh, we are uh, opening this. Uh, we are uh, inserting a dielectric medium, and also the switch is opened. So after some time, we are opening the switch, and we are introducing a dielectric. So you can write here. After opening S, opening this switch yes and inserting uh, inserting the dielectric medium after opening the switch yes and inserting the dielectric medium for C1 first we will calculate for C1 so now C1 is connected to the battery. So if you draw the uh, diagram with this. So C1 is connected to the battery itself whereas C2 is not connected to the battery. you can take you know this as c1 dash c2 dash because this is with the introduction of dielectric for c1 it is connected to the battery so the capacitance of c1 is 10 k into k into c1 is i can write it as you know the capacitance of c1 as c1 dash which is equal to k into c1 so k is 5 5 into 2 microcoulomb uh, that is uh, 5 into 
2 microfarad so it is 10 microfarad now voltage across c1 dash is 5 volt itself voltage across C1 as 5 volt itself because it is connected to the battery now charge Q is equal to C1 dash into V dash C1 dash into uh, new V V C1 dash into V so which is equal to 10 into 5 into 10 to the power minus 6 is there so it is 50 micro coulomb Similarly, you can write for C2. For C2, new C, new value of capacitance is K into C2, which is equal to uh, KS2 into 5 equal to 10 micro coulomb sorry microfarad similarly the charge uh, we, we said in the uh, note that uh, you know the total charge remains same so charge Q uh, same charge Q Q S it remains the same so what was the charge before it was 10 micro coulomb ten micro coulomb voltage is voltage V is equal to we know Q is equal to C V so voltage is equal to Q by C Q divided by C which is equal to 10 micro divided by 10 and equal to 1 volt this is how we have to calculate